Does he roll the dice and Set. bring Carver in next? Set. It could be, like I said, the make or break over. He picks up a wicket there. You'd imagine. Yeah, he's played a, a card. Yeah, he's played his hand here, yeah, basically, with Rabada. And he wants to break that partnership. If he doesn't, does he go with the risky option, as Uru just pointing out? It would be a risk to bring on Carver. Some sort of message delivered there to Karen Pollock. Remember the Janssen brothers in the, in the orange bib just sidled over to Karen Pollock and just said something in his ear. seen this so many times in his T20 career as captain he'll slow the game down he'll be theatrical in terms of moving fielders around he'll try to take all of the the heat out of the situation for his team in the field and shoulders of the batters I tell you what butch whatever it was he seemed to agree the big man seemed to agree and he did point out to someone far in 180 degrees across from where he was to pull the next over. In the meantime, KG Rabada has done really well with the ball here. Six runs, one delivery left to go. It's been a good spell. It has indeed. Pressure, he's been attacked quite a bit throughout this bit where say 20, particularly Jason Roy. But it's been classic KG Rabada today. Oh, classic KG. Batter takes it on the full, hits him for a boundary in his last ball of his spell. 10, 0, 10 from his last over. KG Rabada ends with 24 for one to his name. It's 133 for five. Yeah, and you see the frustration from Rabada. Mutasami gives himself a bit of room, opens up his front foot, carves it over cover. It's a valuable boundary. It ebbs and flows. Oh, that's brilliantly stopped by Rickleton behind the stumps. Engineers De Bruyne holds key here. There'll be something in the favour of Tassara there. That ball, the ball is going to uh, reverse swing back into the pads of Turnis De Bruyne. The fine tickle past the keeper might be on. There's no fine leg beyond that man inside the circle. Moving around the crease. And he's done well, Bashara. It's a good start from Tashara. This man in picture, key figure. That's his tournament so far. Started in the first fixture. Five, four, couple of low scores. He was then dropped. Back in the team, four, five is higher so far. You'd argue, you can argue that he's playing for his future as a Capitals player. He doesn't play any other cricket. He's retired from international cricket, doesn't play any domestic cricket. It's the last chance alone as far as this season is concerned. And can he be the man to secure himself another gig for next year? We're all asking that question, Ash. We're all asking that question. Oh, this might be down the throat of Karan Pollard, yes! Oh, talk about commentator's curse. Oh, I think Tina's De Bruyne can have the word dash with Prince later on. Well, he needed to make a play. He needed to make a much bigger play. It was a good hand. 42 from 33 deliveries. But is it going to be enough now? Tushara. The captain has gone to his main man. And Tiernes de Brain, he knew straight away that the commentator put the curse on him. Got a big tray of drinks. 42 from 33, it's 1 3 3 for 6. Well, the boys have gotten stuck right into him, Mark Butcher and Nashville Prince.
Wayne Parnell, 31 from 15. And this is some top stuff bowling from Tashara. He hasn't missed his mark throughout yet to concede a run in this over. Well, in fact, that was the first single. Balls to one! Oh, he couldn't get all the timing he wanted. Yeah, he knew it straight away, didn't he? Straight away. You ask any bowler at the death, you give me a tiny bit of lateral movement, tiny bit of reverse swing. Suddenly, my margins become that much bigger. My margins for error. Batter can't just swing through the line of the ball that he sees. So this is huge. Bit of reverse swing. A low arm slinger with the ball in his hand. And this is going to be really tough from now on in. now and it's the kind of game where you want to yeah, keep your foot behind, behind the line you don't want to give away these extras because at the end of the game you never know a boundary flies off the edge here and there and we are down to the wire it's not over folks yeah certainly with um, Ethan Bosch Adil Rashid they can all bet Wayne Pannell has joined Mutusami out there he's got a few lusty blows in his bag Is a brilliant Muta Swami. Well done. Oh, that's a terrific shot. So you've got the low arm sling, you've got the reverse swing, difficult for them. You've got two left handers at the crease now, and this left hander has just played a brilliant shot. Great piece of thinking. Terrific execution right off the chalk end. Oh man, this game, this game, just when you think one team's on top, that happens. Ow. Oh. Uh, that's it boy come on no guessing for who he's supporting and they say keep your eyes on the ball what the Sami did exactly that <laughs> and in spite of the boundary it's been a really good over from the shot just a seven off it Pretoria Capital needs 24 from 12 it's 140 for six equation that's what hangs in the balance for that number four spot well, I tell you what in spite of the result today we still won't be for sure until the game in the evening Joburg Super Kings well win within a chance because if MI Cape Town win Joburg Super Kings need to win with a bonus point and how good is that how good is that for our competition Betway SA 20 season two going right down the wire in terms of this fourth qualification position oh, wow. it's gone all the way how's that for a strike from with the Sami oh mate what a shot what a time to play it as well Sam Curran goes length first can get a little bit of reverse Muta Sami ah oh, it's just genius what a time to do it yeah he's not the most powerful striker of the ball but he gets an opportunity with pace on or well, it's just a deflection up and over short third man coolest man in the house yeah callous oh, what a difference that makes <laughs> oh my god 18 of six and that will be oh sam curran what are you doing seven from one ball Ashwell Prince and I were saying between the last two overs, you give to Sarah, I reckon 12 off the last. 12. That's why this is such a big over. Goodness gracious me. Oh. The Sami's come out and he's played an absolute blinder so far. 30 or 15, he's gotten Pretoria Capitals right back into this game. And they now require 16 of 10. 
Oh, he's calling for the 12 in the last over. One minute left. Wait a little bit towards you. Might just be much more less than that. You never know. Yeah, I'm wondering if we might see some pace off for the remainder of this innings. Make them hit the ball. Mutisami, not the most powerful. Wayne Pannell, possibly. But not a great deal of form as well. Pace off. Potentially a few cutters, bigger boundary out to the leg side for Sam Curran to work with. Field is set for pace off. The third man is up. Mid off is up. That's another area to go if the pace comes off. Okay, Pollard now goes back to long off. So the field is set for pace off. Will we see another reverse over third man? And the big burn set in the first innings. Brody asked him where. He said slow purpose. But in a pressure game like this, it comes down to execution. So that crowd is stuck around. And you can see the ebbs and flows in the voice that comes out of the crowd. The decibels go from zero to nothing in a matter of seconds. They're holding on. 15 from nine. Hey! My seven! One, one, Sam! Couple more singles one with the last seven, two deliveries, and you got your 12 from the last <laughs> over, Butch. Oh, dear. This has been brilliant. What a game. What a game. All of the, the bottom three sides are still invested. Eight balls of this game to go. Quite incredible. Oh, that's been picked up. Don't think quite of the middle. Searching for the boundary end and only the one. The big cheer goes up with the crowd as well. They understand this. One ball left in the penultimate over and it's going to be a big one. Remember, Rabada's last ball of the previous over went for a boundary change the complexion slightly coming into this last over yeah it's been a good comeback from sam curran boundary six to start with then a wide and then four singles since then can he close it out doctor one he'll be most happy with a boundary well that could set cat amongst the pigeons It was the only shot that was on. The only shot for Mutsami that was on. And he played it brilliantly first ball. He's played it sensationally. Zek last ball. For six, it's seven needed now. Oh my goodness. What an innings this is. One, five, seven for six. What a shot. What a shot under pressure. Senyuran Mutsami moves to 37 from just 17 deliveries. Well appreciated by the coach. Hold on, folks, because cricket is a funny game. And it might look all light blue at the moment because they've done themselves a huge favor. Courtesy Mutasami. 37 of 17 not out. 7 from 6 is what they require. And you'd imagine pressure is on the bowler now. Is it ever? Pressure's on everybody. This situation, everybody's feeling it. It's just a question of who holds their nerve. Wayne Parnell. We've seen a few things in his time. On strike, fine leg up, third man up. Men inside the circle are saving one. Long off, long on back. Very straight mid wicket back. The scoop's on again. Four. How about that? The field was said the ball went nowhere near that. And they just need three now. Yeah, it's length back of a length and it gives Parnell the opportunity to just with square leg gets underneath it left over right works it behind square and that's a massive massive blow 
in the context. Three to win. Tells a story. This crowd has been absolutely stunned. Three or five. Two or four. And guess who's back on strike? Well, decision making. Decision making in, in games at T20 counts where every margin is a small one. Where was Thomas Carver through the middle? On a day where the spinners have bowled quite brilliantly. All types of spinners. It's all happening in this theatre. Two or four. Just the one. Oh! Match is now tied. And Pretoria Capitals, they've got three balls to get this winning one. Stunned silence. Stunned silence at Newlands. Just a couple of overs ago, ten, ten balls ago. It was all my Cape Town. And Senor Mutasami, he had other ideas. And at the moment, The likelihood that Pretoria Capitals will certainly close this game out. And all fielders in the ring now. Tashara with the ball. Pretoria Capitals require one of three. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you put the fielders. Because the captain of the opposition side, Wayne Parnell, has spoiled the party. That is a superb run chase. They were under the puck right from the very start. 45 for three, 60 for four. Difficult surface to get any sort of freedom on. 60 runs, 34 runs from Verena, 42 from De Bruyne. Murtasami at the end. Unbelievable call under fire, under pressure. Two sixes in that Sam Curran over that won them the game. KG Rabada did his bit, but he was out of it before we got down to the business end. And they can barely believe it, the crowd here. Yeah, and it was Wayne Parnell who stood with his arms aloft at the end of the bowling innings. And it was Wayne Parnell again at the end of this match to hit the winning runs. Pretoria Capitals captain, he played his part today. My Cape Town captain, he played his part. But in the end, it's Victoria, victory to the Pretoria Capitals by four wickets. And if you sum this game up,